big part of LFLC was really to bring technology um, into the vehicle in a new way. We tried to really delight the customer with something new, something different, uh, something exotic, expressive, sexy. There's like this really raw, kind of cool, high-tech camera lens technology in the headlamp and these kind of raindrop LED uh, driving lamps for the front and rear. The rear, the tail lamp, was inspired by a jet fighter's afterburner. What do you do instead of a normal roof pillar? Um, how about glass to glass? The grill pattern for the spindle grill is actually Lexus L's that are opposed and they're uh, kind of waterfalling down the grill. As they reach down, it has a variable speed to the window. So the faster you move your hand across it, the faster the window moves. The slower you do it, the slower it moves. It's a technical product that has to be on the road, has to be feasible. But if I think more fine art, more expressive, more emotional, then I think we can make this really beautiful sculpture. There's this kind of beautiful spiraling shape that kind of runs the length of the car. It's almost like a wave, but it's actually, it comes from the flower motif. And out of that flower, you see this uh, kind of the haptic interface that the, the driver will actually interface with the computers that are on board in the car. When I was doing the uh, initial sketch or ideation, uh, there were a lot of line work that is very continuous. We try to uh, emphasize anything, anything that is long and, and curvy. If you look at each feature by itself, yes, it has something interesting about it. But the way they interact with each other, the way they come together, their, their relationship that they create is, is, is what creates this total package, this total image of the car. It's a premium car. It's a Lexus. It's a sports car. Sometimes the vehicle can exceed your wildest expectations. And for me, this is one of those vehicles.